In the Mesa Public Schools, on the week before the Ames test, many schools hold assemblies to help get students in the proper frame of mind. Lincoln Elementary teachers performed an Ames Survivor skit to help students prepare. Let's see what the red team has. Red team, sounds like you guys have some fans out there. Oh, Ms. Bloomquist has a delicious strawberry. Ms. Red, Ms. Hansen has some delicious orange juice. We got a beautiful red apple and a delicious orange. Give it to the red team. Ms. Tora, what's going on over here? I have a hangnail. It's really bugging me. I'm sorry to say this, Ms. Tora, but you do not have what it takes to be an AIM survivor. Exit the stage. The next question is, by what time must you be at school? On the count of three, you're gonna flip over your boards. One, two, three. 8.15, 8.15, and 8.30. 8.30, which one is the incorrect answer? That is right. Ms. Peterson, if you show up at 8.30, you're going to be late. You do not have what it takes to be a name survivor. Please exit the stage. One more time for Ms. Lucas. <laughs> Ms. Lucas, she picked good food to eat. She got plenty of rest. She planned ahead and got ready for school. She took her time on the challenges. She filled the test bubbles all the way, and she showed us what good testing skills can be. She does have what it takes to be an AIM survivor. She is the true AIM survivor. One more time for Ms. Bloomquist. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate her victory with song. Does everybody know the song, AIM's Roar? <laughs> During the week of April 7th, students in the Mesa Public Schools and across Arizona demonstrated how much they learned on the Ames test. These Lincoln Cougars look like they're ready to show academic growth and score well on the assessment.